So I'm gonna be making a chocolate toffee cake today. We have a box chocolate cake mix. We have chocolate fudge icing, and of course the ingredients to make the cake, um, vegetable oil and eggs. Then I'm gonna be making a caramel sauce with three ingredients. We have brown sugar, heavy cream, and butter. Then I have chocolate covered toffee heath bars and some chocolate bars. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm gonna make the chocolate cake by the instructions. Then I'm gonna make my caramel sauce. I'm gonna poke holes in the cake once it's cooled off about, I guess about 75% cooled off. And I'm gonna drizzle some caramel sauce in the middle of that cake. Then I'm gonna ice it with the chocolate fudge. Make sure you get chocolate fudge, not milk chocolate, because you want it rich. <laughs> then I'm going to chop up my Heath bars in chocolate, crumble that up on top of the cake once it's iced, and then I'm gonna drizzle some more caramel sauce on top, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and make my caramel sauce. Making caramel sauce, in my opinion, is fairly easy, but may take a little bit of practice if you're not used to cooking. So I'm using brown sugar. You can also use white sugar. I'm gonna put in one cup of brown sugar into this um, saucepan right here. Pour in about two tablespoons of water. You can also use lemon. Um, you can also add vanilla if you want it to. Here, excuse me, is you want it to caramelize, so you have to watch it. It's really easy to burn it. Do not walk away from the stove when you're doing this. You want your eye to be on medium low. You don't want it too high. I'm gonna go ahead and add my water. You don't want to touch this. You don't want to stir it around. You can move your pot around like this in a circle of motion, but you really don't want to touch it, okay? Because at this point, you want to remove it from the eye. And then this is hard to do with one hand, y'all. I'm going to pour in, put in my butter, put in my heavy wow. cream. You dropped it. You got it. You got it, boss. To make it a little bit thicker, powdered sugar. Just a little bit because it's already thick. And now as it cools down, it's gonna get even thicker. So now I'm gonna poke holes in this cake and I'm gonna drizzle the caramel sauce in. I'm placing the caramel sauce in a Ziploc bag to make it easier to pipe in. Now you guys, quick funny story. I came with the idea with this cake or a cake similar to this. I used to make cakes, uh, one of my first jobs here, I was making cakes for everybody's birthday parties. I got tired of it, so I said, you know, I'm gonna make the nastiest cake you could think of. So I made this chocolate cake with a bunch of caramel sauce. I had Reese's Pieces, I had Kit Kats, I had Snickers, I had toffee, then I put on chocolate. I mean, I loaded it with a bunch of stuff. Don't you know that these helpers came back and said that that was the best cake they ever made? I ever made them, excuse me, so yeah. <laughs> this is the candy bar on. This is just chocolate and chocolate covered toffee. Doesn't this look good? But I'm not done, baby. I'm gonna drizzle on that caramel sauce. I'm using about half a cup of caramel sauce in between the cake and on top. Yes, it's going to be pretty good. You want to talk about rich and decadent. This cake is so good. I wish I could cut into this, but this is actually a gift from my doctor. But thank you guys so much for watching. Take care. Bye.